So in the previous video, uh, we made a nice template for our image cards. And so let's say that we want to, ma to mine sentences um, from Netflix, for example. So we need a few things first. So the first thing we need is something called subadub. And all of these I'll link in the description below. And we, why we need subadub is that it lets you select text in uh, Netflix from the subtitles. Um, one, one small note, somet sometimes even for like Japanese content, they won't have Japanese subtitles. So for your target language, they might not have subtitles for it, um, unless maybe you use a VPN or something. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, first we need subadub. And next we need a dictionary. So the way the cards we're making are gonna work is we're going to have a sentence on the front and then a target word on the back. And for the target word, we need to have the definition of it. So we'll just get it using the dictionary. And lastly, we need pure text. So pure text, you don't 100% need it, but pure text is very useful for clearing formatting. Um, and you'll see why very soon, why, why I think it's so useful. And I won't go over how to use it, but ShareX is also useful um, for audio. So the, what we're doing now, we can get the text, we can get the image, but we can't get the audio automatically. So ShareX might be useful for you if you want to try that. And I'll link a guide that explains how you could use ShareX, though I personally don't use it. So now to get started, um, basically if I have an anime, I'll just be listening along and I'll just be checking the subtitles. And uh, let's say that I stumble upon some subtitle and there's a sentence and I don't know what it means at all, then I skip it. Because if I don't know what any of the words mean and I try to make a card from it, it's gonna be too difficult, so I just skip it. So let's say that I have this sentence and I can more or less read the entire thing, then it's not very useful either because I already know all the words in it. So what you want is somewhere in between uh, where there's only one target word that you don't know. So I, I will also skip this sentence since it's a bit long. Let's see if we can get something shorter. Uh, maybe, no, that one's not very good either. Ah, this one, this one looks good. So in this one, there's just one target word I don't really know. Um, and what we'll do for the sentence mining is first I'll just do Alt A, I'll just make a new sentence card and I'll just copy this text. I'll just use Control C. And now we have a problem. So you can see that even though I paste it in, I don't see anything. And the reason for this is that it's keeping the font used here, which is bad. And you can just use um, Control Shift F12, and that will clear the formatting. But that's a little bit tedious to do every time. So there's another option. So if I copy this again, whoops, ignore that. So if I copy and paste this again, or no wait. So now if I have this in my clipboard, um, I can use pure text now which is very useful for this kind of thing. So if I press my pure text shortcut, so shift control alt E, then it just gets rid of the formatting. So just to show you again, if I copy and I paste normally, then it's a mess. But if I use control alt shift E, it just gets rid of the formatting completely. So pure text is awesome for that kind of thing. I recommend you use it for that. Um, and then lastly, so the, the word I don't know here is, let's say it's this. So what I'll do is I will copy out this phrase or this word, I should say, and I'll go to jisho.org, which is my preferred dictionary for Japanese. And I'll just paste the word in. Um, so it looks like it's kegawa. That's the word here. And I'll just copy the definition and I'll paste it here. Um, the, the formatting isn't perfect. I don't really care personally. I think this is good enough for me. And lastly, what we'll do is I'll just take a screenshot to get the image here. So for Windows, you would use Win Shift S. I'm using something slightly different since I'm using uh, Super Method Parallels. Let's paste this in. And personally, whenever it asks for a new name, I don't bother naming it because I've almost never had to use something from Image Registry anyways. So I pasted that in. And if you were going to get the audio, you would use ShareX as well to get that. So now we have everything. Um, we can just do Alt Shift L and oh wait, just small mishap, just a sec. So now we can, whoops. Now if I use Alt Shift L, it just shows me the sentence on the front 
And then if I click show answer, then on the back, um, then I see the image and then I see the target word. So my goal with this sentence card isn't to do anything more than just read it and then understand just this phrase. Um, so a lot of people might not be familiar with uh, input hypothesis or the philosophy behind this, but this is the this is how I personally learn Japanese. I just make these kinds of sentence cards, which are fairly easy, but raise my passive vocabulary without too much effort um, with the intention of learning to understand Japanese as much as I can before I move on more to focusing on speaking or going from English to Japanese instead. So this is roughly how I personally, um, oh, one, one thing I forgot to add. So for people that are using, uh, doing sentence mining for languages other than Japanese, you can stop here. But if you're using sentence mining for um, Japanese, then you have a advantage because you can use an application called Yomichan, uh, which is just a Chrome plugin, which does something very neat. So if I hold shift and then I highlight over something, then it'll just show me the definition for the word. So I'll link another video on how to set up Yomichan in the, in the uh, description below. But what I can do now, instead of just using gshow.org is after I have the sentence, I can just hold shift and then hover over the word and it'll show me this great definition. Um, and I can just use control A and then control C and then just paste it in. And then, oh, whoops, it messed up. Ah, yes, there it is. And I can just paste it all in. And now I have a pretty decent definition. So the, the advantage of this over gshow.org is that it's a little bit faster using uh, Yomi Chen than just looking it up. And you can also choose what dictionaries you use. So it, it's very convenient, I highly recommend it. So that's how I do sentence mining with uh, Japanese and with Netflix. I'm gonna make another video on how to do it um, for Japanese, ma mainly Japanese, for stuff you've downloaded. So thanks for watching.